Hey guys, you're watching Shibana Nanny, my name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build the City, episode 130. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Applaud me, guys. I remembered the episode number. I think it's the first time in like seven or eight videos, like in a row, I think. <laughs> I remembered it. Woohoo! Oh, my um my HUD is off. And my hand, I can't point. Woohoo! So, uh I've been saying over the past sort of uh, 20 episodes or so, I've been saying that I was going to finish off this uh, this unfair funfair area. Uh, because we're building, obviously, a theme park uh, on a separate series, and I didn't want to waste time doing sort of the same thing twice. But every time I came on, I thought, I kept thinking to myself, I've got to do this. I've got to finish off the unfair funfair area. You know, tarmac it all out. Uh, but there's all this space here. There's a nice-sized green space there. It's a relatively nice green space here as well, and I didn't want to waste it. And I couldn't think for the life of me what to put in here. And then I thought, hiccups. I didn't think of hiccups. <laughs> I thought, well, what about a, cir a circus? Like a little circus tent. And I think, it's, I think it's what we'll do. You know, let me just get coming. It's so cold in here today that I'm actually wearing a jacket indoors, like a big big warm jacket. I usually just wear a, a t-shirt. Uh, come here microphone. Thank you. Um, so yeah, let's crack on with that then. Let's get a splash potion ready. Splash potion. And I think we're going to go with the the normal colours. It's either red or white or red and yellow. And let's put them next to each other. So we've got red and white or we've got red and yellow. They're like the two circus colours, aren't they? But we've we've already used red and we've already used yellow. So, I think red and white. Well, what does yellow and white look like? It's not very circusy, is it? No, it blends in too much with that. No, red and white, I think. And I want to try and fit it in there. It's not going to be a huge circus tent. We could put it in here. But it'd be nice to have a car park here, wouldn't it? It'd be nice to have a car park here for the cinema and the unfair funfair. That, that, yeah, that would be good. So, if you can fit a small circus tent in here, I would be very, very happy. And I think the way we're going to do it is we're going to have an entrance here. Is that enough room? We could probably bring it out a couple of blocks. Uh, not that far. Like there. And then we can have like some bushes or something along the back there. Spruce the back of this building up. It's a nice back of the building though, isn't it? Yeah, I do like that. Um, but yeah, nice two wide entrance. Just big enough to sort of get everybody in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go with this for a few, a few blocks. Okay, so let's go another red one to make it even. Let's do the same on the other side here. So that's three white ones, I think I done. So that's three white ones. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, getting night time already? Really? And then what we're going to do is we're going to just sort of slowly put a bit of a curve on here. Nothing too fancy. It is going to be a pretty uh, basic tent. But it's going to really add a lot of character, I think, not only to the world, but to the theme park itself. Now, we can't go too far. In fact, we should probably do this end first, shouldn't we? That would be the smart thing to do. Boop, 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 boop. If we do three white ones, mm, let's do three red, red ones instead. Yeah, like that. And then we go with the red and the white and the red and the white and the red and the white and the red. Uh, no, and the red. I don't know if this is going to line up well with two blocks in the middle. It's probably not. We're probably going to end up with two colors next to each other, knowing my luck. Wow, that is so dark. I apologise for how dark it is. I can't see anything, but I would really like to... No, I can't see. <laughs> I was going to try and just finish off, like, the bottom layer first. Uh, I hate sleeping. I hate night vision potions as well. Don't tell me night vision potions in the comment section. Do not even mention them. <laughs> uh, is it there? No, I think it's this one, isn't it, that we need to do? Uh, oh, it looks like this one, in fact. Wait a minute. No, that is right. Yeah, there. Okay, so red, then white, then red, then white, then red, then white. Okay, so we've got two whites next to each other. That really doesn't surprise me. I suppose what we can do is we can invert all of these ones back round and then... Mm, but then no, because then we've got the double at the front, don't we? Well, we don't want the double ones at the front. I'd rather have the double ones on the corner that's most inconspicuous, which is going to be this corner here. So yeah, I think we'll do it like that. You won't even notice it. You won't notice it once we get a few blocks up. So, how high do we want to do this entrance here? Do we want a 
three block high entrance. Three block high entrance seems nice. Yeah, it's going to be like a ten a tenty feel. I really want a tenty feel out of this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring up. We'll just work on the front a little bit, like this. Yes, it is starting to look like ten. That's the nice thing with wool in this texture pack is it does have a really nice texture. It's a beautiful texture, isn't it? You know, it, it can be used for so many things. It can be used for the sort of this this tent texture that we want. It looks great as metal as well. It's just it's just really, really nice. I'm really, really impressed with it. Now, I think if we add red ones, like here, 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 and wood, I think, is the best thing to use for a tent, like to hold up the, um, the bits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do we do it more? Let's have a look. That that looks pretty good, actually. I think I'm liking the sort of longer ones, but I'm wondering if we want to go with two red blocks or just a single red block. You know what? Let's do... Hmm. If we done red blocks here, we'll do we'll do one side this way and one side the other way. And then we'll decide which one we like best. So that's option number one. And then option number two is this one. And then if we go to the middle here. Oh, we've got a completely red entrance, don't we? Okay, yeah, that works. So it's either that or that. I think I like that one. I think that one gives a little bit more height to the place. This one makes it look a little bit claustrophobic, doesn't it? Oh, well, there's the test then. Wonderful. Take these ones away. Take that one away. Um, That's got to be white. Yeah, that'll work fine. Uh, that's not the one. <laughs> there and there. Okay, so that's, that's going to give a really nice tent look. This is going to be a great addition to this place. Definitely going to finish off this very small unfair fun fair. Okay, so very simple now. I can do this off camera. I'm going to go up and around this entire area, putting fences on all the red ones, I think is what we, how we're going to do it. So I'm going to do it all up to this level, and I should be right back. Okay, so just finishing off. I did make a couple of changes, which is what I'm going to show you here. And for the corners, what I've done, let me just finish this off here. You'll see what I'm doing in a second there and there. So, first change is actually move the double white that was somewhere here to a double red lined up with the back there. It just works that way, doesn't it? It just, it looks uh, a little bit better. I actually like the red along there. That, that like, technically should be white if we were doing the pattern exact. Um... Hmm, I actually like white now. <laughs> I hate it when I change my mind. Uh, and <laughs> and then how I've done the corners here is the first red one that goes back are faced towards the direction. Okay, so like this one faces back, but this one faces this way. And the one in the middle, I've put diagonal. So it gives a little bit more of a, a rounder effect. The roof, though, the roof isn't going to be easy. The roof, like, um... I've only been to the circus, I think, once, possibly twice, and I was very, very young. Uh, I'm not scared of clowns or anything like that. Uh, a lot of people are scared of clowns. If you're scared of clowns, let me know in the comment section below, because it's quite a... It seems to be quite a common thing, and I don't know why. I don't know why people are scared of clowns. Um, I'm not saying that you, you shouldn't be scared of clowns. I mean, if it's if you're scared of something, you can't really help it. But I want to know why... You're scared of clowns, if you are. So yeah, if you're scared of clowns, let me know why. Let me know what scares you about them. If it's how they look at you, if it's the makeup, um, I don't know. Because they even use clowns in games to make things a little bit more scary, don't they? Like, um, I can't think of a clown game off the top of my head, but... Um, yeah, sometimes they use clowns in games to make something a little bit more scary. But then you got to think, like, Ronald McDonald, he's a clown. He's not scary, is he? Is he scary? I don't think he's scary. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is we're going to try and do basically two circles, but they join up in the middle with a little bit of a dip. Now, I don't know how well we're going to be able to do that with the scaled 
uh, with this scale of tent. I'm not sure. But, mm, this isn't going to be easy at all, is it? I have no idea on, like, a, a technique on how to do this. I think we'll start off. This is, this is on the fly, guys. This is, like, off the top of the head. I think if we go up like that, that's a pretty good angle to go up at. Okay? And then if we go up the other side as well, it's not going to be easy to line up. Once once we actually get it all done, I've got a feeling it's going to look really nice. But it's just getting to that point. Okay, so that's that's the same height. I want to go up a little cup, maybe one or two blocks higher. So that was two blocks. So I had two blocks to this side. Aha. Uh -huh. So if we had that at the top, we could then come down a couple of blocks. Come down a couple of blocks. Oops. And then I want to come down a, like a block with two. And I want to try and get this to look like it's sort of draped. Like, oops, like that. If you come to the front. See how that looks like it goes to a point and then sort of drapes to the next one? In fact, that might be a little bit too draped. Um, something like that. That looks better. That's a better shape. Okay, I like that. I like that. And then... Mm, this isn't going to be easy, but I don't want to cut away because I want you guys to be able to uh, follow along at home if you do want to build it. <coughs> Voice crack. Let's go along here. Oh, wow. Is it night time already? Oh, that's crazy. Um, red one there? In the middle? Oh, I don't know. I don't know like how to do these colours. It's not easy. <laughs> is it? It's definitely not easy. Okay, but that's still... The colours are still right. Uh-huh. Hmm. I think, I think we can get this to work, you know. I think it's just going to take a little bit of care and be a little bit sort of uh, slow with it. Make sure you know where you're placing them. What we're going to do is we're going to slowly work on this corner first. I'm keeping the straight lines straight at the beginning. That made no sense, but I'm sure you know what I mean. But I'm keeping the, the, the lines straight on the front and the back. And on the side as much as I possibly can. Okay. Uh, white one. Whoops. Somewhere along the line here, I'm expecting the blocks to actually double up in some parts. Yeah, like here, look. Yeah, I thought this would happen relatively soon. Um, it's not a problem, though. Mind you, I want to keep, I want to keep these straight. So if we do that, we do that. That looks better, because then we're keeping these lines straight. And we're keeping these lines straight. And then the corners are the least important bit for us to keep, like, uh, colour-wise correct. So that's correct like that. They're still correct. But these aren't. I tell you what, if we swap those around, that's then correct. That works well. See, how that's now symmetrical. Exactly how we want it to be. Wonderful. Okay, so that's then here, here, here. And then we want a red one there. And then we want a white one there. So we have a red one there and a white one there. Yeah. Okay, so we're keeping it as symmetrical as we possibly can. Uh, it's not going to be symmetrical all the way. In fact, there probably should be a red one somewhere here. Maybe we should swap this one for a red one to make that corner look a little bit better. I think that's the best way to do it. Uh -huh. And somewhere along here, we're going to have to get this drape in, aren't we? Let's work down from the front here. What colour would this line be? White. So let's put the white one down. What I'll try and do is we'll try and do half of it together. And then I can do the other half off camera. Okay, so we've got a drape bit coming. How do we want to do this? Like that. That's a pretty good shape, isn't it? That's a pretty good shape. I think I like that shape for there. And obviously it'll be the same on the back. Yeah. Yeah. So we can fill in this corner here. We want to go white, red, white. Uh, white, red. And then white. Something like that. And then we want red, 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 red. Uh, white. White, white, white. I'm just really putting down blocks. And seeing what it looks like. No matter what combination you do, it should look good. That's nice though. I like that. I like that. 
Okay, so the middle is here, so we're going to have white, white, white. Yeah, so that's the middle point. So you can mirror it yourself. We're going to do this uh, together on one corner, and then you guys will be able to replicate it yourself how you want. Okay, so we've got another drape bit. So this drape bit is going to be a little bit different. I think we want three blocks of white, and then four blocks of white, or three blocks of white, three blocks of white, and then it'll be on the top will be three blocks thick if you include what will be the other side. Like that, yeah? That's pretty good. So let's go red, 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 red. Whoops. White, 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 white. Mm-hmm. Red and red. Excellent. So let's match up this this peak here. So we're going to have to have the red on that height for this one. And then we're going to have the white on this height. See how we're keeping this sort of C shape. So we've got a little C here. Bigger C here. And then we're going to have that coming. Well, if we keep it the same, we would do it like that. Okay. And then we'd come down like this to there. See how we're keeping this bit symmetrical here? It's hard to see because of the red and white, but we've got like this going around like this, like in a U shape, not a C shape. And then we've got this that goes round. And then we've got this line here, which also goes around there, which we'll do the next level next, with four blocks in the middle. Got another C here. Yep, yep, it's going right. It's definitely going correctly. And then this is going to be red. This one here. Ah. That should be white. Take that one away. That looks better. And then we've got a red one there. And a red one here. And then a red one there. Red one there, and a red one there. Whoops. There we go. So, we're starting to really get the sort of tent dip and everything in there. I'm liking it. Let me do this on the other three sides, and I'll be back. Okay, you guys know how to do this now. I'm sure you can do the other quarters yourself. Okay, so that took a little while, but we've got it in the end. It's looking good. Uh, each side is identical. I made sure it was absolutely identical, and... <laughs> it looks pretty good. I like it. I like it as a little um as a little circus tent. We definitely need some flags on the top though to finish off the sort of uh circus look here. Let's go up there. Are they the same height? Nope, but I like the one height on the right better. Okay. And then we want hmm, let's fly them this way. I have actually no idea what way the wind's actually blowing in this place in this city cuz no matter what <laughs> No matter, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? No matter what building we do, it's always different. The flags always are going a different way. Like, there, you can see the flags are blowing that way at the racetrack. But then at the town hall, I think it's blowing that way. So it's very, very strange. Um, I've got hiccups as well, if you didn't hear. Let's bring it back one. I want to do something like that. Hiccups. So, um, like that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. They're like a little pointed flag. Like a little triangle flag. That's the sort of effect that I wanted from it. In fact, we'll put another bit on there as well. So then we go with the red. And then the white there. And the white there. And then we done that again. And then we came out two, was it? Like that. Like that. I've got a sneeze coming. Four, four. Was that four? Four, five. Wow. Whew. One for a kiss, two for a wish, three for a letter, four for something better. Pretty sure it was four, because five is for a boy. <laughs> Do you, any of you guys know that tune? That, 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 it's not really a song, is it? But that thing, one for a kiss, two for a wish, three for a letter, four for something better. Uh, five for a boy, six for a girl. Seven for secret, never to be told. Something, something like that. It's like this really catchy tune. Um, that doesn't look in line to me. Those red strips there. Wait a minute. What do we got going on here? No, it's because that's wrong, isn't it? That. Oh no, that's right. That's right. And then we need that in there. And then it's this one. Whoops. 
That's wrong. I thought something looked a little bit funny, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Oh, not a bed. Don't put a bed in there. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. There we go. Okay, so, uh, please remember, guys, that this isn't a tutorial. This series isn't a tutorial series. We just build together. It's just a let's build series. If you want to know how to build a circus, I'm sure there are uh, tutorials out there. Uh, and you can, if, if you want to, you can follow along. Um, at home. I know it's a little bit tricky to follow along with my building because uh, I build off the top of my head. I don't build in like a tutorial style where I know what I'm doing. It's just sort of all, all off the top of my head and we just, I don't know, work off inspiration as we go. Um, but yeah, say, please don't have a go at me for saying that you can't build it. You don't know how many blocks it was and stuff like that because I don't know how many blocks it is. I still don't even know how many blocks it is at the moment. Um, it, it's just off the top of my head. We just do it as a let's build and uh, we just enjoy building. Uh, more than doing the tutorial on this series. But anyway, I like that. That's pretty cool. What I would really like uh, is a little seating area in here. Okay, so what we're going to do... Sorry about the mic noise when I was sneezing, by the way. I think my microphone rubbed on my big jacket that I said I was wearing today. So I think what we're going to do is let's come out like this many blocks. However many that is. Okay, so these are going to be like little tiny seats for them. Uh, to sit on, and we'll have one on the other side as well. And it'll figure out some sort of lighting in here as well, don't we? So that's going to come up um, possibly just to there. And if we use some oak logs, I think, just to give the internal uh, tent a little bit more structure. Maybe even something like that. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I think I like that. Uh, and then we'll have the same on the other side. And I would really like it to just very slightly curve. Not all the way around, but just very slightly curve. In fact, we can probably follow the exact cur whoops, the exact curvature of the tent. So if we keep with this log thing. Careful now. Careful now. This is why this this is the sort of time that I'm actually glad that um Xbox or, or console Minecraft has a different setup to um, PC Minecraft when it comes to um, uh, logs on PC it doesn't work like that you have to sort of do it a different way uh, I think logs on PC logs work the same as pistons do uh, so you actually have to like be in the direction like I, I don't know uh, no we have it that way around it's different that's all I remember uh, I had some trouble on the Let's Build a Medieval <laughs> series, and I was like, "Why is it placing it that way?" And then I remembered it's um, it's just different, isn't it? On on different consoles. Yeah. Now I know we're covering up the light here, so it's going to get a little bit dark for you guys. But I promise. Look, I'll do it right now. Huh? There. You can see again now. Yeah. You should be able to see again. I can see, so you guys can see. So let's come around here. Whoops. I uh, just like a uh, just a little seating area. In fact, we could probably go a couple more blocks. In fact, we're going to need to, aren't we? So we're going to have to do this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Nope. Like that. Like that. So then if we line up the seats like this, at least it all ends on the same spot then. Yeah, I like that, actually. That's turned out better than I thought it would. So we're going to have that to there. And then what we'll probably do is put some logs on the side here, just to like hold everybody in, make the chairs look like they're being actually held up right, and then along there, put the fences along the top here, and then uh, that one, 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 like that, that's pretty good, and then the same has to be done on the other side, how are we going to do the lighting in here, do we go for, whoops, not there, I can't see very much, where is the middle? That's the middle. If we bring this down here, we could go with, like, I don't know, something like that shape. One there, and then one, I don't know how many blocks we come down. That's the right height, isn't it? Like this, I, I really don't know. I think we're going to use torches. I think we can get away with torches in the circus for lighting. Don't you guys? I think we can. I think we'll be okay. I think I don't think it'll look too odd. Let's come up here. There. And there. 
put this stuff up here. Aha! Wonderful! So that's one seating area. Yeah, see, this is going to be way too dark. But if we get some torches down, we can put, we can put torches on here. Look, one there, one there, one there, one there. And then we can have these ones in the corner. Just to keep right, we have one there, make it even. That's bright enough. Definitely in the corner, that's now bright enough there. We'll have another seating area there, and then a pool in the middle. Okay, let me do another seating area. I would really like to get this all done in one episode. It's going to be a long episode, though. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now, what I want in here is... Uh, I want a pool, I think. Like, uh, maybe a diving board and a swimming pool. Um, just, like, I don't know, as a little touch in here. Nothing too fancy, nothing too special. Um, what block should we use for the for the for the uh, ladder bit? We're obviously going to need a ladder to climb up, but we're going to need a block to put it on. Wood, I think wood. Maybe not that wood though. Spruce wood. Get a bit of uh, contrast in here. So if we have the ladder going up here, that's too high. I think that was that's the right height. So have that going up there, and then we'll go on to like a little quartz diving board possibly. So quartz diving board comes across here. <laughs> and then we'll have like one of those little tiny swimming pools down here. I tell you what, this quartz is a very circusy looking block, isn't it? Like the stripes on it, they do they do suit the circus look. Um preferably getting the pool in line would help. I mean, this guy's doing a very dangerous stunt here and we haven't lined up the pool correctly. There we go. <laughs> Oh. And then we'll go with some full quartz blocks down the bottom there. Fill it up with water. Do 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 do. Wonderful. Um. Hmm. Do we do with this around the outside as well? Yeah. I think that's. I think that's gonna cop. Uh, cop. Top or cap? <laughs> that was a mix of both words. That'll cap them off nicely. Um. Yeah, and I think that's all we're going to do on the inside here. So then we're going to have to work out the lighting and the floor. What what do we want for the floor? Very, very quickly. Do we want to go with... Well, sand usually works, actually. They usually do have sand on the inside. A mixture of sand and wood, I think, would be nice. Um, let's have some torches on the outside here. Wow. Get bright, will you? Uh, one there, one there. That'll do. And it is night time. Let's sleep away the night, in fact. Maybe that'll help with a little bit of um, <laughs> the light situation. Hopefully I haven't run too over time on this episode. I do feel like this is an awfully long episode though. Like, I don't know, it just feels like it's going to be really, really long. So what we're doing here is we're just going to literally sort of dot around some, some spruce wood here. Completely randomly. I'm not like um, doing any pattern here. It's just 100% as random as I can possibly do with Minecraft OCD. <laughs> And then we're going to fill in uh, the grass with sand. And I think it'll give a really nice effect. I think it'll give like, um, I don't know, just a, just something different. Something that looks a little bit different. Interesting. A talking point. Let's go like this. Like this. Like this. Nearly there. We nearly got something. Yeah, see, already, if you look over there, we've already done. With the grass in between, it already looks a little bit more interesting than if we just had it one plain block. Sometimes just using the one plain block works, but in other times it looks better if you sort of mix it up a little bit. And I think this is one of those times. And I think the sand and the spruce wood are going to go really well together. The sand is such a light block that's going to really help uh, light up this room because it is it's dark in here. The lighting is going to be the last thing that we need to really sort out. Um, but because it's so light, as you can see, even in the dark spots here, it looks bright, doesn't it? That was a really dark spot, like, well, it's actually light over there because of the glowstone. But let's take this away and this away. See how dark this looks? The sand makes it look a little bit brighter than what it actually is. So, yeah, I like that. And what I might do is even mix a little bit of sandstone in to sort of look like where the um, the sand has been compressed down from people walking on it. That it's, it's gone hard to sort of sandstone uh, texture, potentially. We'll see what it looks like. 
Um, I was thinking about using a little bit of stone as well, but circuses are usually quite... Um... Oh, I got a phone call. Two seconds. Okay, phone call over. That was a guy about some scaffolding. About, um, I think I mentioned a few episodes back that we're getting our, our roof done. Um, renovated. How cool does that look? Yeah, uh, getting our roof renovated. So uh, all of the work is sort of starting uh, to happen now. We're starting to get, um, obviously, who's, who's scaffold guy to make it all safe. Whoops, I didn't want that. Um, yeah, which is really, really exciting. I say it's only for aesthetics reasons, really. Our, our roof structurally is fine, but we, uh, uh, we've got a, a sort of 200-year-old house, and uh, <laughs> the roof looked a little bit mossy, um, a little bit green in some places, so we thought, well, let's spruce it up. The house deserves having a little bit of a, a Christmas present, if you like. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very exciting. It looks really, really good. Maybe I'll show you some pictures soon. Huh? Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. This sandstone, I think, is a great idea to mix in with this, though. I think this is going to really help the whole... Yeah, it looks great. I really like the look of that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and the last one is lighting. Google keeps thinking that I want to speak to you. I don't want to speak to you, Google. Go away. Um... <laughs> Google on the computer. Yeah, no, I didn't mean to say Google. Go away. What's it searched for? Oh, it searched for, get this, it, when I was saying that, it was typing in what I was saying, but it, it said, is lighting Google Google 00800? Hmm. I don't think Google's speech recognition works all that well, does it? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so, that's, this end is lit up lovely, isn't it? Nice and bright. This end, not so much. But how do we do it? How do we light this up? Oh, I've got another idea, though, that we could put on the roof here. If we've got enough room. Just enough room, maybe. If we put this in. Down to, like... Yeah, there's a good height. And one there. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. And then let's get some wooden slabs. Or stone slabs. Stone slab will work great. Looks like a little... I want it to look like a little metal bar. That's, that's, uh, that's trapeze, yeah, that they swing on, whee, and they swing on it. That's something a little bit extra in the center, in, in the um, circus. Where do we do this, though? How are we going to do this? Do we just put logs down? Like a log there, let's batch it this side, a log there. Why is this side more lit up than that side? Is it just me, or does it feel like that to you? Feels like that to me. Could be wrong. Um... Let's go there, let's go there, and there, and if we put a torch down there, and there, and then over here. I just want to try and, try and make it light, but I don't want it to be super in your face bright. And I like that to light up the top there. I think that's good. That's a nice amount of lighting. You can see everything in there. You can sit here, watch the little circus show. Yeah, brilliant. Well, this has been a fantastic episode for me to be able to fill up that space. How does that look? Yes! Great addition. Wonderful. Let's have a look on the map. Can we see it on the map? Might be a little a little dot, white dot or something like that. There you go. Little grey place. It's starting to fill up there, guys. Uh, we are going to leave it there, though. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!